this is Bria from Ottawa Yorkies. Today I wanted to show you my setup as I get ready for IS litter. Her due date is the 28th, so they can be here any day now. Um, let's see if we can catch them moving around. They've been very, very active lately. Actually surprised they're not moving right now. They were moving just a little bit ago. So, I think only a few minutes ago. Well, <laughs> she doesn't like being on her back for too long. But she does love her belly rubs, huh, Aya? Huh, oh, sweet girl. Like I said, I wanted to show you the setup that I have to get ready for her upcoming litter. The first thing that I have is I do have medical gloves right here. Uh, so, I, we are wondering if she's going to end up having the puppies tonight, actually. So, we'll see. <laughs> um, but, uh, otherwise, if I'm at work, my mom is actually going to be keeping a really, really close eye on her. Let me know and I'll immediately come home, wash my hands, and throw on these. Um, maybe I should have gotten some smalls, but they fit. I've got uh, to be able to take her temperature. I've been taking her temperature just to make sure she's doing all right. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll immediately come home, wash my hands, put these on, and I'll grab this to take over to the area. Um, that's This is everything that I should need for labor. Um, my plan is to basically, once the puppy is out, but she's in her sack, um, I'll help cut her out here with these. Um, being very, very careful. Um, I'm going to have, thankfully, I have really, really steady hands. So uh, we'll take, we'll see. And then once the puppy is out of the sack, I'm going to go ahead and clamp the uh, the umbilical cord. And then with this one, I'm going to make sure, you know, sanitize between every pot um, and use these two different ones for different things. So this is going to be the one that I use to clamp, I mean not clamp, cut the umbilical cord. And then once I've got the puppy breathing, if needed, I'll be using this to be able to uh, suck out any fluids uh, that the puppy may have. I'm only going to use it for this one litter um, and then replace it uh, for when a next litter comes. I've also got towels available and ready to be able to help out. And then once I've got the puppy breathing, um, I'll use dental floss to tie off the umbilical cord and take off the clamps. <clears throat> Also, what I have in here is I do have vitamins, uh, pet cow to be able to prepare her calcium uh, for feeding her puppies. It's you have to take have her take these seven days before the due date and five days after the puppies come. Oxymate, I've been having her on since she uh, was bred. Uh, so she's been on this uh, to be able to help grow the puppies and help them be healthy and strong. Um, Oxy Mama, I have ready for her as soon as the puppies come uh, to be able to keep her milk coming and keep it good. Um, I have this notebook slash planner uh, ready to be able to take notes and keep track of the puppies. In here, I have ribbons to be able to tie off uh, each of, uh, tie around each of the puppy's necks so that I can I, uh, better identify them and make sure that I can keep track of them. <clears throat> and in here, I've just got some extra pads and washcloths. I do have a lot more pads and washcloths in other areas, but this is all um, within reach. Uh, thankfully this can move around so I'm able to move this next to me if I have to. 
I also have this baby scale ready to be able to see, uh, track the puppy's weight um, and make sure that they're eating and growing as well as being able to chart them uh, yeah, to chart them. Uh, this is a second liner um, since I'm sure the first liner is going to get messy really, really soon. So I have this liner ready uh, so that I can switch it out and wash the first one. Now, sweet little Aya, she's just hanging out. Hi, sweet girl. Huh? Huh? <laughs> she's like, I am so ready for these puppies to be here. <laughs> All right, so uh, here is the whelping area. I have Aya's food right here, so she has easy access to it. She doesn't have to walk too far away from the puppies. I have this light here just so that I can see everything and make sure everything's well. Um, I've got a pad so that Aya can just go to the bathroom there if she needs to. Um, and then here, is the first whelping box. Uh, this one is where she will have the puppies and where she'll uh, feed them and everything. This is the box. To be able to make her a little more comfortable until the puppies are here, I did add her favorite toy. So, and then this is the nursery. Uh, basically, why I have this is so that while she's in labor, um, while she so as soon as the puppies come out, I'll immediately uh, get them latched onto her. But when the puppy, the next puppy is coming and she's in labor and she's, you know, it's coming, then I want her to be able to solely focus on this new puppy. Uh, so I'll be moving the puppies uh, to this nursery uh, so that she doesn't step on them, roll on them, or get distracted by them. Um, now both whelping boxes, both boxes do have uh, heating pads underneath. So I've, both of them, I'm able to choose the temperature. Um, so while she, Aya is in there with the puppies. It will be on, always be on low. Um, if she ever does need to leave the nest, uh, to maybe go to the bathroom or something, I will bring it up to medium. Uh, as for the nursery, once Aya goes into labor, I'll just keep it on medium uh, so that they it's able to already be warm by the time uh, the puppies are coming. So that's my setup. That's what I've got going on. Um, now, a lot of these ideas, most importantly, the whelping boxes. Janet Tolbert of Designer Yorkies actually let me steal this idea. Uh, I think it's absolutely brilliant this way. Uh, there aren't too many blankets, so that there aren't blankets, you know, to be able to have the puppy suffocate in or get stuck in or lost in. Um, this is just the perfect size, the perfect everything, just to make sure that uh, puppies are safe. Uh, she, this was a brilliant design and she let me copy it. So she's wonderful. Um, as for this whole area, she also, uh, gave me that idea as well because this is basically her setup though mine's a little bit bigger because um this when i got my little aya uh this was actually given to me by my aunt who has corgis so this is used but it, i've cleaned it out um i'll clean it even more tonight just to make sure everything's sanitary but um that's why this is bigger and it's good. It's a good thing because Aya is a little bit bigger. Um, she is 10 pounds pre puppy weight right now. She is 12 pounds, 12 and a half pounds with all those puppies. 
So thank you so much for watching. And I, if you have any questions um, about the puppies, about Aya, about um, maybe the male of the puppies, uh, just let me know. You can, I'll put a link to my email so that you can send me an email um, for any questions you may have or uh, but if you have if you're a breeder or a new breeder and you have a lot of questions I would seriously check out designer Yorkies Janet has a lot of resources for new breeders and she's an excellent source of information uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for checking out Ottawa Yorkies bye bye